It's Christy here back again with another video. Just wanted to film a quick opening, say hi. Uh, welcome back. If you're returning, welcome. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. I would love to engage with some of you guys in the comments, so feel free to leave any questions, comments, or if you need links to anything, please let me know. Um, I also wanted to just quickly touch base on the future of this channel. I'm still going to do my cleaning and tidying videos. I love that stuff. That's my jam. But also, I want to go ahead and start working into some decluttering. I had aspirations at the beginning of this year to start decluttering everywhere around my house. In today's video, you're going to see me decluttering some of my kids' clothes and kind of reorganizing them. And that's kind of my, my starting point. It's been um, a little bit of a hard start for me. So that's where we're starting in today's video. Also, my house is in a little bit of a flux state. We're getting new floors put throughout. Um, so you'll see my house kind of transform into what we really want it to be. And we're going to do some renovation videos as well. So like, comment, right, and subscribe. We're kicking off and today always, with cleaning uh, the chair in the living room. This is the most popular chair for everybody to sit in. So of course it collects a whole bunch of dirt, crumbs, sometimes toys underneath of it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some leather cleaner after I vacuum it out real good and make it look brand new. My vacuum was being a little bit of a stinker and not picking up some of the items. We are going to be getting a new vacuum soon with just all hard surfaces in the house. I was thinking I want one of those Tyneco vacuums, the ones that vacuum a mop at the same time. I think that would be cool and time saving. Let me know if you guys have one of those. This is the leather cleaner I've been using found it on Amazon. You have to dilute it. I think it's like one to 10. The directions are on the back and a little scrubber or brush, whatever you want to call it. So basically I just spray it on there. Not like too crazy, just like a good amount. And then gently wipe it with the little brush. It's surprisingly like soft, but not too soft. And then you'll see me, I'll wipe it off with a damp microfiber towel after this. look at the goods oh goodness just from a little bit of a pass there as you can see there was black on the rag now granted I don't know if it's dirt or it could be dyes from our clothing or whatever but I'm just glad to get it off I also just want to mention if anyone decides to go and buy one of these little brushes, I would suggest if you're doing a bigger area to pick up maybe a bigger brush. Um, I noticed quite a few times as I was using it. Now while it got into like the nooks and crannies just because of the size, it kept slipping out of my hand. take a minute real quick and thank you guys for clicking watching my videos engaging with them anything you do I have a really small channel but it's something it's been kind of like a passion project of mine and I've been really enjoying doing it so any engagement you guys leave is awesome and very much appreciated oh, 
la semaine. And here we have Burger the Cat investigating, of course, to make sure everything's up to snuff. to say that wiping down each of these sections was so satisfying. Can't forget about the edges. I love the way you kiss me every night. I love the way. Touch me, pull me right But every day You keep on telling me That I should go But I'd rather stay with you I need to hold you Need to touch you right I miss the way we were before And everybody knows And everybody knows you feel And everybody sees I enjoy you on this one How past cleaning Christy It was like and we're abandoning the individual squares concept. We're just gonna spray the whole thing at once, like a maniac. I'm feeling good, need you here right beside me. I'm feeling fine, when you hold me, I smile. I need to know, and give me one more chance to take it slow. But I'd rather stay with you. this one-handed but this is me rinsing out the rag as you can see the water is like a grayish brown pretty gross but very satisfying this next few clips is from my son's room he doesn't actually sleep in this room he sleeps in bed with me and the baby we all co-sleep together it's just the season of life we're in and it works really well for us and everybody knows you feel, and everybody sees, you keep on hiding, running away. I had been avoiding cleaning up this room because my son doesn't really spend any time in here, and all these clean clothes for him and my daughter had kind of built up, and I store all their clothes in that cube organizer on the wall there, you can see. So once this was all done and put away, I felt super accomplished. So if you have a task around your house that you're putting off and you're really dreading doing it like I was with this bedroom, just remind yourself that you can do hard things and you're completely capable of doing hard things and you're going to do a great job. Sing.
Can we give a shout out to postpartum hair loss? As you can see, I have very fine baby hairs growing in the sections after I had my daughter. We're nine months out now, and I just started using a hair serum from The Ordinary that's supposed to help with hair regrowth. Um, I'll let you know if it works. Currently, right now, every time I take a shower or brush my hair, like huge clumps of hair are coming out. In the last time this happened, after I had my son, I just went ahead and got a pixie cut <laughs> to avoid the whole situation. So uh, let me know if you want to know how that's going. goal of this project was of course to declutter some items but also to see what they needed for the upcoming season.
I did not realize that my son had that many sets of pajamas. I'm probably going to go through them again with him and see which ones are his favorite. Because I am don't think he needs that many, but also like realistically, how many pairs of pajamas can a kid go through? For his shirts, I'm organizing between 5T and extra small. He's almost out of the T sizing, and then he'll be in the boys department wearing size extra small. It's kind of bittersweet because I think we'll have a little bit more options for him, but also kind of sad because he's growing up. He's growing up way too quick.
watch we break make it seem like we feel the same we love what we had we lie but we know we can't wait or it doesn't grow give up let it go what we fell apart We're starting in on some of my daughter's clothes. I know out of her clothes, she's definitely going to have quite a bit to donate just because of the nature of how fast babies grow. She's outgrown a lot of her clothes and I just haven't gotten rid of them yet. Um, but a little walk down memory lane as we're doing this. Miss your lips, but I hate the taste. No fun. The footy sleepers you see me putting next to myself are nine month sleepers, so we're gonna hold on to those for a little bit longer because those do fit her and she does wear those to bed. Or I send them to daycare so they have some extra outfits just in case she has a blowout. Well, we fell apart just in time. You might have noticed that I didn't fold her sleepers before I put them in the cube. I used to meticulously fold them or zipper them up or button them up, but I kind of thought to myself, why? I mean, I'm going to have to undo whatever I just did to put her in them, and she's not going to care if they're wrinkly when she's wearing them to bed. So I just saved myself a little bit of time and don't fold them anymore. Can't go separate ways, break up all the same. And as I said earlier, I knew there was going to be a bunch that we were going to donate. And as I'm just going through here, these are all ones that are going to be too small for her. But still in great condition, so I can donate them. Ooh, you say at least it was worth a try. I love this little outfit. It's got like little dress pants. I call it her librarian outfit. <laughs> she looks adorable in it. Cutest little librarian. At least it was worth a try. Just a quick question. Has anybody else noticed the sheer amount of dresses or cute little outfits that come with little bloomers for little girls? Granted, they're adorable but maybe it's how much true crime that I've listened to or watched. It just weirds me out about like essentially little girls wearing underwear out underneath their dresses where it can be seen. I'll probably be putting like little leggings or you know like little biker shorts on her underneath her dresses opposed to the little bloomers. Keep all your games.
these are all clothes for the upcoming uh, spring and summer season. It's good to kind of just take a look at what I had previously bought her and make sure she has kind of what she needs. I'd hate for it to get really hot and us have no short sleeves for her or anything like that. So I always like to be prepared. Also, it's kind of crazy to me that some of these outfits I bought for her when I was still pregnant with her. It's just crazy. take some of the guesswork out of getting my little ones dressed if you notice if something comes in a set I typically fold it together as a set so I don't have to really put too much thinking into what matches or what goes together The way I organize her clothes is a little bit different than the way I organize my clothes or my son's clothes. I have this bin that we're working on right now, which is just her current clothes. Clothes that fit her and are weather appropriate for her to wear them right now. The bin we put all of her sleepers in is just sleepers. The two bins on the bottom are future clothes. So the one on the left is the bin for upcoming season and the one on the right is for the season after that. So probably 18 to 24 month close. Do you remember too when we're both were fine when we're both doing good? Cause I can remember too it's been such a while. Oh, I miss those funny things. This bin is my little one's bows. A few jackets somehow made it in here, bibs, hair accessories, stuff like that. Don't you dare to leave me now, cause it'll be all, all better in the future. I'm testing some of these headbands to see if they'd still fit over her head. This morning, in fact, the morning that I'm recording this voiceover, I put one on her that matched her outfit and she reached up and ripped it off. I guess I haven't done a good enough job having stuff on her head, so now when she feels something different, she doesn't like it.
trying to organize them slightly by color so that it's easy for me to just reach in real quick and get one that matches her outfit. Let me know in the comments below if anyone has any recommendation of bow storage. I just kind of put them in this bin and I've seen the ones where you hang them on the walls but I don't really want to do that either. I was kind of looking for something more inconspicuous since she shares her room. She's going to be sharing a room with her brother. Um, let me know. And just when I thought I was done, I found a whole bunch of new t-shirts sitting on top of the cube organizer for my son. We just got them from Target, so I'm going to fold those up real quick and pop them in his drawer. Should be here right now. It's meant to be. I want to be you down, down. Can't believe the mentally you might now. I can see the signs and I'll always be down, down. Take me where I wanna go. Take please ride it. Looking back at all these sleep sacks that she has i don't think she probably needs that much we needed a lot more when she was like the newborn stage because she was spitting up a lot or you know having blowouts but she doesn't really have that happen too often anymore so i could probably go back and donate some of these sleep sacks because we probably don't need as many as we have <laughs> bring it back in some of these baskets that had the clean clothes we removed in the beginning some of this I'll go ahead and see if we're going to keep it donate it and put the stuff we're keeping in the drawers <laughs>
putting some of my son's future clothes into a bin that we have in there. I will be cleaning out these closets very soon. As, like I said earlier, we're getting new floors and the floors are also going to go into the closets. So I'm gonna have to take everything out so that the guys who are installing the new floors have space to do so. clicking and watching this video if you made it this far. I know this one has been a little bit of a long one. It really helps my small channel out and it shows your support of me and I love that. I've really enjoyed making these videos and when you guys click watch, comment, subscribe, anything, it really helps and keeps me motivated. If you haven't done so already, do one of those things please. <laughs> and please follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to do better with posting on there and trying to be more consistent with posting a video every two weeks. So definitely more to come, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.